Hi, Paha, the Renaissance man. Today I want to build myself a camera uh, holder. Uh, <clears throat> my wife doing the filming, but uh, I plan to do some educational videos for another type of channel. And I want to be able to have a camera and just me working with it. Uh, and also plan to maybe put a small monitor next to the camera so I can see myself. And by the way, I have a lot of this material lying around uh, that I want to use. Uh, nice aluminium parts, uh, people making CNC machines out of it, it's sturdy, it's good. Uh, <clears throat> my plan is to have uh, we can go over here to the sketch uh, on, on the computer to have four uh, legs going out uh, and one, uh, two pieces actually uh, for two reasons I don't have two meters of this material I have uh, one 1.2 meters or something so I want to join them together in the middle and my idea is also that this uh, camera pod uh, should be easy to move so I should be able to take it apart um, so that is the plan uh, and since I haven't been good enough to learn Fusion 360 or some other CAD software I'm rather good at SketchUp but making small details it's, yeah, I don't like it so I made drawing by hand And so this is the camera pod, and the camera plan to be mounted here uh, on uh, this part uh, that's come out of uh, another tripod for cameras. So I just make a threaded hole for this part and mount it on this one. So the different parts I need to manufacture in this video. See, maybe I'll scan them in. Uh, this is two pieces of 10 millimeters aluminium, and uh, they are going to be let's see, the two pieces sitting here and holding this material together so on, on each side. Uh, I plan to make uh, Let's say a piece sticking out, uh, a dowel, I think it's called in English, that fits into this one. So it gets sturdy in that direction. So you're going to do some mill work. Uh, so I need two pieces of them. And I have a lot of these ones laying around as well. So this is going to be. Uh, the screws that I put it together so I easily can take it apart and put it back together if I'm out somewhere. Uh, let's see. And I'm gonna make these uh, nuts out of steel that uh, basically fits in in that groove here, and uh, then I'm gonna be able to tighten it together. So these parts go down in, in the nut and tighten the one 10 millimeters aluminium piece to this one. And this is how the thing holding the camera will look like. And here again you can see the part sticking out and that's gonna be like this. So it's troubling in this one and give it some sturdiness. And then that bolt's gonna go in in that hole and like that. And in the bottom of all things, uh, holding the legs together, going back to this view, is this cross piece down here. Uh, so basically. That's going to standing up and holding the camera. Uh, I made it um, 
a little bit bigger, uh, six, uh, 60 millimeter by 60 millimeter, because I'm not sure if this is going to be sturdy enough. So I'm prepared to maybe buying some material than that is. Uh, this is 30 millimeter, so it could be 60 by 60 or 60 by 30. So more or less, there are room to uh, mount a thicker one of this. And then the legs go in like this. And uh, tightening down with these nuts, and this is just from the, the side, so it's going to look like this, and with that piece sliding like that. So that is what I'm going to do. Uh, more or less practicing my milling skills because they are not that good, and they can always be better. And my idea is I have this. 10 millimeters material and uh, lying around for a long time and now is the time to use it. So I can use my normal woodworking bandsaw to cut this out. I have cut aluminium before. Uh, it works fine. It dulled the blade like nothing else but it's, it, it's fine. Uh, and I hope it's gonna work for this thick material otherwise uh, I have no clue what I'm gonna do and how to take this part, maybe go to another company to ask them to just cut it against the red lines and then the black line is the parts that are gonna mill out and in precise, hopefully precise manner. So this is the, the work for today and uh, hopefully I'm gonna end up with a camera pod uh, that I could use for the camera and hopefully uh, also mount a small uh, display next to it uh, so I can see myself and see what focus the camera has. So let's see, let's see you in the workshop. So now I'm out in the workshop and uh, I have my aluminium plate with me. Uh, I sheeted a bit and um, tried to, or I, I cut one piece out of it, just because I was a little bit afraid that this might be scary. This worked fine. Uh, so, I'm gonna cut off one piece. It makes a terrible sound though, so for the camera woman. Easy. It's a normal woodworking blade, so I guess it's because it's not made for this. And it, I needed to cut it a little bit tilted because it's probably bent according to heat. The other thing I did, I have a, a dust extraction system here, but I disconnect that because I don't want to have any hot sparks of aluminium going down in the garbage can with all the wood dust. So over here. Just because when I did, did my cast, I realized that I kind of had aluminium uh, dust all over, so I just put the bucket there. And it works quite fine, so I'm gonna cut off all these into pieces, and then we start at the mill. So, I have roughly cut all the pieces uh, to rough size. Uh, so I'm gonna, at least for the smaller one, uh, put them up in the vise, screw them up uh, and mill them to the correct dimension. Uh, after that I'm gonna uh, put them down to the bed and drill the holes and so on. Uh, so um, I go ahead and screw uh, them up, uh, make them to correct size. And then we come back when I sh should make the grooves and drill the holes. So, welcome back. Uh, yesterday I finished, almost finished one piece, uh, this one. That's gonna be mounted on the camera pod. And here should be this 
tilting unit from a camera in this mounting hole. Uh, what I need to do more is to file uh, the radius on this one, uh, so you don't have uh, two sharp corners on the back side when you try to maneuver the camera. Uh, I also made these three pieces. Uh, they are by no means finished, but these two sides are parallel on all three. Uh, so what I'm going to do today is to uh, mill them to the correct length and drill the holes uh, in them. What I tried yesterday was to use a um, GoPro camera on my head, but uh, I failed rather badly because I only get the picture of this part of the mill and not what of interest. So I'll give it a new try today and see if we can get some nice pictures. Um, so that, that's up for today and I uh, try to film it uh, as the best I can since my cameraman is out today so I'm running this by myself. So uh, I have now measured the part to 126.85 and on X up here I put in 126.85 but it rounded it to 84, I guess it's uh, scaling on this shiny scale, so it's not a professional unit, but it works just fine. Uh, so I need to change the drawings and I go ahead and mill and drill these two parts. I'm running a uh, 12 millimeters uh, mill bit, and uh, what I found out yesterday at 370 RPM, it cuts nice, and uh, in this small machine, the vibration is kept down, <coughs> so give a good surface. So I will run that today as well. So let's go for it then. to do here now uh, is I by no means an expert in milling I'm learning while I'm doing this uh, I cre create a reference surface here so I could uh, measure how long this is uh, take one more cut at this end and, and set the DRO to the distance that I have measured uh, the part to and then I can nail it down to the correct length, in this case 120 millimeters. Uh, there's probably other clever way to do it, uh, I'll probably figure them out later on, but for the moment this is how I go about it. Knock the corner off, uh, so I easier can get a correct reading, uh, 127 point something. Uh, so I need to figure that out, I did that off camera because I need to take the GoPro off and um, to put some magnifying guys on so I can see. Uh, 